can share Jana. Guys, today we are going to bake almond cake. If you tried my lemon cake, you're going to love this recipe. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to be an amazing recipe. Stick around and watch me. And if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so let's start making almond cake. It's an amazing recipe. It's going to blow your mind. Okay, now, how are we going to start? Two cups of white sugar. Okay, goes in. One cup of butter, like regular butter. Okay, one cup, softened. So it's not melted, it's just soft butter. And um, so this is your almond butter, guys. It's an amazing recipe. It's a family recipe. So almond butter, I'm going to use one third cup. It goes in, let me just grab this. So one third cup, let me see. Okay, so one third cup inside of almond butter. Um, cream cheese, okay? So one cup of cream cheese, it's a Philadelphia cream cheese. One cup. So goes inside. This is amaretto, guys, quarter cup, okay? So I'm going to put inside of our mixture, okay? Quarter cup. One teaspoon of almond extract. Goes in. One teaspoon of, um, uh, of uh, vanilla extract. And so we're going to mix again. And then what we are going to do, we are going to slowly introduce our eggs one by one. Okay? So let's start. Okay, guys, so we have six eggs. I'm going to put inside of our mixture one by one. Okay? So let's say I put one egg. Okay? And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mix. And that's what I'm going to do with six eggs. looks like so all our six eggs is already inside okay now we are going to focus on so it's done so now we're going to focus on our dry ingredients so I usually take uh, two and a half cups of flour or it's, um, it's in in this case it's a uh, uh, cake flour okay so you can use all-purpose flour but I'm using cake flour so um, I'm using uh, one teaspoon of baking soda, okay? Some people, guys, don't use it, but I will tell you, it's always better use baking soda and baking powder because it's like a, let me open. It's, uh, it's like a insurance for your cake. Make sure that your cake um, will be great. So one, one teaspoon, okay? goes inside your um, flour and um, one teaspoon of baking powder. So, one of each. Now, guys who, um, those of you who, where is my, oh, it's here. Those of you guys who made my, tried my lemon cake, you know, uh, I used, um, lemon flavored instant pudding in my lemon cake so today i'm going to use instant um instant pudding but it's vanilla flavored so if you guys remember how tasty it was uh, lemon cake so we are using uh instant vanilla pudding 
we are going to put inside our flour. Okay, so as I mentioned before, so here is, uh, I use two and a half cup of flour, but um, I'm using, so this is two cups, and then I will see if I need more, so I will add another half, okay? So our pudding, instant pudding goes inside vanilla pudding and it looks like this guys i want to show you so the jello it's a company name maybe i don't know where you live maybe you live in australia in us in a different country you might have a different brand but it's vanilla instant pudding okay so one pack which is 102 grams so now what i'm going to do i'm going to mix all this mixing so flour and um, the pudding, mixing really, really well. Or oh, we need to take um, a little bit of um, salt. Oh, let me see. So just um, a little bit, like let's say one, just just uh, a little bit, like one fourth of a teaspoon of the salt. So we mix it all together. Okay, great. And now we're going to introduce our flour inside the mixture slowly. So guys, what's important? When you're mixing uh, with the flour already, please do not over mix, okay? Just very gently, a little bit. Even it's better maybe to stop, you know, like, and then we can mix um, with the hands. I mean, with the spatula, just maybe a little bit. On the low speed. So I use two and a half cups of flour, okay? So now, if you feel it's kind of like a little bit too thick, um, take a little bit warmer it and just like a splash, right? Like not a lot, just a little bit to loosen up. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to move a little bit. Don't over mix, just slowly, like really slowly. Okay, let me show you guys. So it looks like this. So I'm using this kind of form. It's a, it's like a bond pan. So that's what I'm using. So it's like, you know, you can pull it up and put it back. So what I did, I pre-greased, I put like oil, olive oil, and I just um, put all the way up. And what else I'm doing, this is your flour. So I'm going to put flour a little bit, like everywhere, just, um, just like this, okay? So it's like, I want to show you how it looks like. Oops. Okay guys, it's like this. So that's what we're going to put all the way around. Okay guys, so that's how it looks like, okay? And so now preheat your oven 325 degrees and um, 325 and uh, sometimes it depends on the oven it takes um, maybe a little bit over an hour maybe 90 minutes sometimes maybe hour 15 minutes depends on your oven but what you're looking for you're looking for for some uh, light golden brown color on the top okay and I will tell you exactly how long it took in my oven and that's it so it goes to the oven now and I will see you in a um, a little bit more than an hour and I will show you what we're going to do next okay guys ta -da. I just took it out from the oven so look how beautiful absolutely gorgeous see and so it took one hour 10 minutes 325 degrees okay so I want to mention so when I was um uh so how much um amaretto you can put inside uh, from a quarter cup to uh, up to a half cup of amaretta you can put inside okay so the more amaretta you will put the tastier it will be so what we are going to do now uh, so I'm taking amaretta right now see it's warm I just took it out right so I'm taking amaretta just a little bit and what I'm going to do no sugar, just the amaretta itself, and I'm going to put like this on the top once it's warm. Okay, guys, this is just amaretta. Okay, 
and we will let it rest a little bit and then I'm going to show what I'm going to do. We're going to, do. We're going to need to make amaretto sauce because when I'm going to cut then how do I like to serve it? I cut a piece and then I put sauce, amaretto sauce on the top. It's, it's amazing. Okay, so we're taking half cup of amaretto, or you can take less a little bit. So half cup of amaretto. Um, come guys, I want to show you what I'm going to do. Half cup of amaretto, okay. And um, I can just put two tablespoons of uh, icing sugar, okay. And I'm going to mix and I'm going to see if I need more icing sugar or less. So guys, I made a sauce. So I put a half cup of amaretto, three tablespoons of icing sugar, okay? So I mix it and I microwave just a few minutes. So just it's nice and warm. So what do I do now? I have a, a, a sliced um, almonds and I I just toast, I just put them in the oven a little bit and see that just, um, just for a few minutes, okay? So what I'm doing now, so I'm taking that sauce and just, it's um, just a little bit like this, okay? It's amaretta sauce, so icing sugar with the amaretta I microwave. So I do like that, so it's nice and warm, right? So now, what we are doing now, I'm going to put those almonds all the way on the top see and now it's going to stick because it's um, a little bit sticky. So guys, and what we are going to do now see I put the almonds on the top I want you to come and have a quick look close look see how like looks beautiful and now I put a little bit of ice and sugar now and now what I'm going to do is the ice and sugar look look how gorgeous like this and let it wait a little bit because it's um, it's still warm. And once it's cooled down a little bit, then I'm going to cut. I'm going to show you how it looks inside. Okay? So that's basically it. That's it. Okay, guys. So our cake is ready. Look how beautiful. And now it's time we are going to cut. Okay? So I want you to see how it's inside. I, I will tell you something. The tips. I have electrical knife. It's amazing, and if you guys don't have it, please buy it. The best thing, so you can cut with electrical knife, anything, and it's a perfect cut, okay? So, let's see, I'm going to cut. And the reason I'm doing perfect cut, because I need for the pictures, guys, to take a beautiful pictures to show you inside. So, I'm going to use, let me see to get the beautiful cut like that. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. And I'm going to put it on the plate. Let me get the beautiful scoop. I need to scoop it up. That's oh my God. Oh my God, it's still warm. Look how beautiful it is amazing and let me see absolutely gorgeous and so what i'm going to do now this is your sauce you remember guys it's still warm but i want to show you so we can put that sauce that's how you can give presentation okay on the top oh my God, that's gorgeous. And so, I want to show you. So this is your icing sugar. You can still put a little bit like that around the plate, right? Amazing, that's it. Gorgeous, that's with the sauce. Tada is ready. I want you to see and then we're going to try. So look, it's so beautiful. It's sauce, it's almonds, and look at that beauty. 
and um, I cut a small little piece for myself and I'm going to try I want to show you look I'm going to cut I'm going to show you how it's inside see it's very soft like see how soft I just like with the sauce with a little bit see mm. soft Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you so much for watching me and um, I will see you next time on the cooking show and if you like my video don't forget to subscribe and